Happy 2020. This is the first uh, set of Tackle Club boxes for the new year. Let's jump in. This one is actually in a bag this time, but this is the COD box. Let's jump in and have a look. Alright, so first up, we have a top water. Now this is by Chase Bates. This is the Frill Seeker. So it does come with a spare tail. It is like a top water wake bait if you do work a little bit quicker. Uh, these will actually swim just underneath the surface. So great for the early mornings, late afternoons, or shallow water. Um, but yeah, you're looking for a surface bite or very shallow top slash top water bite here. Now I have used these multiple times before. They do have a great little action on them, obviously having a double joint in them and the soft replaceable tail. These do snake through the water quite a fair bit and create a fair bit of um, um, top water disturbance. Awesome little top water lure there. This is, ah, it is a Pontoon 21 Danzante J. Uh, so this is actually a bibbed single joint swim bait. So I guess you could almost call it a glide bait, but it's not a glide bait because of the bib on the front. So this thing will actually pull it down and give it a fair bit of anaerobic action. So it's going to be great for both open water and in snags. You can use that both in rivers and in dams. And the Danzante J does come rigged with owner hooks on there, so there is pretty good hooks already on that lure. Um, you could change it out for heavy ones, just like you can with any lure, but that's pretty much ready to go right out of the packet. Um, working that, um, I'd probably work this along lay down, so if you've got a big log that's running out, cast up next to it and work it down the length of that log. I think that's where it's going to be really perfect. Um, probably not so much throwing under willows and stuff because of underneath willows you tend to have a lot of dead debris from that tree underneath where it's just a lot of dead sticks and leaves so trebles just don't like it no matter what that we're using. But down lay downs or rock faces, I think that's going to be absolutely perfect. Continuing with the top water theme, River to Sea. I've actually used this before, so this is the River to Sea Step War 70. So these are actually a hollow, bo hollow body frog, but you can see it's got a big cut face on the front, which makes it crawl along the surface. So it is a soft bodied surface crawling frog. Good thing about this is weedless. So if you are fishing somewhere where uh, there is a fair bit of duckweed or uh, lilies or anything like that. This thing will just go right over top of it and you don't need to worry about snagging up and pulling in a lot of that duckweed uh, on the hook. Being a little crawler, blip, 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 she's going to create a nice little disturbance on top of the water. Um, but as everyone knows, weedless frogs don't have the best hookup rate. So if you do get a good strike on it, Wait a couple seconds before you set the hook to make sure that that fish has grabbed it and turned. Then you set the hook on it and hopefully get a double penetration in there um, with those two weedless hooks and then reel her in. But yeah, great weedless option. So we've got a diving Danzante J, we've got a weedless top water frog, and we've got the Frill Seeker uh, big surface wake bait. I'll save the biggest for last here, but that's okay. This thing is huge and actually a new lure to the market the prop duster so another one by chase base this is a big glide bait with a unique little spinning blade on the inside now it is a very subtle spin everyone has seen videos of these swimming it doesn't go nuts it doesn't just spin around heaps and create a big mess under the water. It is a very subtle spin, so it just gives the odd flash, especially as this, this wake bait is slowly cruising through the shallows. Um, obviously adds that tiny bit of vibration to it as well. So as you are working this thing slow, you are getting a tiny bit of that flash, a tiny bit of vibration, just to add a little bit of something, a uh -huh, bit of something different to it. Here's the red fin pattern, and it looks absolutely schmicko. I quite like that. Four times strong BKK hooks, so they they are very very strong hooks. So you will not need to change them. 
uh, soft and durable fins, 3DIs, chin weight wire loop. So if you want to uh, add a little chin weight to it to get down deeper, you can. You do have that option. And fully wired from toe point to hook. So it is a through wire system. So you don't need to worry about uh, the wires or the hooks being pulled right off of it. Seems like this thing has been built tough. It's a big Murray Cod. And that's it for the, uh, the first Cod box of 2020. So now if you like this box and you want to get yourself uh, into the Tackle Club and join the Tackle Club, jump over to www.tackleclub.com.au. There's plenty of boxes to choose from to suit the species that you uh, target in your area. Now you can chop and change boxes as well. So if you want estuary one week and a bass one the next month for the next box, you can chop and change. You just log back into your account and change over before the next billing period. But uh, this has been the first COD box of 2020. We'll catch you next month to see the next COD box.